What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to this week's episode of Cap TV. As always, I am your host, Pro Wrestling's resident vlogging wrestler. That is a wrestler, Jack. Tomlinson of Jack Tomlinson, vlog leader of the Jack Pack, the hottest and strongest up and coming family on the internet and in professional wrestling. All right, guys, Cap TV, create a pro wrestling. We are coming off a perfect 10 of a show. We are coming off create a pro perfection. So this episode of Cap TV has to be equally as perfect and it's stacked. It's ready to be perfect. It's so perfect. We are getting so close. After months and months of waiting, we are getting so close to knowing who will be the Cap Television champion. Now, we all we already have a number one contender for our soon to be crowd. So we don't have the champion, but we have the first number contender. It's confusing, it, it doesn't make sense, but you know, views, like, subscribe down below, YouTube, fun stuff. It is Carlo Vice winning an eight man scramble match. A lot was going on in that match, but in the end, Carlo Vice is now the number one contender for the soon to be crowned Creator Pro Television Championship. Now, Carlo needs to pick up some momentum. Carlo needs to go in strong because he's going to have to face either BSK or Max Caster. So, Carlo has a chance to pick up that momentum in tonight's opening contest against Fighter Cat. <laughs> That eight-man scramble match back on May 31st was too easy. Carla Weiss is just that goddamn good. And now your heavy metal prince is the number one contender for the Cap TV title. Recognize. And it doesn't matter who becomes the inaugural Cap TV champion, whether it's that cupcake VSK or that boneheaded idiot, Max Caster. Whoever wins, Carla Weiss is gonna let you know. Carla Weiss is gonna set you straight. Carla Weiss is gonna rack you up and become Cap TV champion. Carla Weiss, God, I love my name, has spoken. <laughs> Tibbs here ringside with Max Caster, and here we go, the resident rock star of Cap TV, Carlo Weiss, going one-on-one -on -one with the resident D-line, Fighter Cap. Yes, Carlo, it's your opponent. I, I think what we could all agree on here at Creative Pro is that we all hate Carlo, right? Well, I'm digging his new haircut. And here we go, starting it out, Carlo Weiss, Fighter Cap. Oh, Carlo Weiss showing that strength advantage. Strumming that guitar. He's here all night, but everybody else wants him to leave right now. You know what? You might be right, Max. Usually, you know, like half the people like one guy, half the people don't like him. Hey, tell me about it. I'm a tweener. Everybody hates Carlo Vice. Everybody hates Carlo, even me. Here goes Cat off the rope. Oh. oh, nice reversal there by Carlo, and oh, he's not going down. Look at those triceps. Carlo, look, gotta look strong, Carlo. Good job. Go. Going for the suplex. Fighter Cat floating over. Waistlock. Going for the O'Connor roll. Carlo holds on. Oh, and another tackle denied by Carlo Vice. Carlo's looking real strong here early in this match. So strong. That's the chop. Nice weave through here. Oh, and another. Oh, this time he's got him rolling. Who's gonna budge? 
Cole it's Cole the Bison, he's down, Fighter Cat. Wee -hoo, wee -hoo, wee -hoo. Fighter Cat on a roll, finally getting Carlo to take the tackle. Quick as a cat, they might say. Some, some would say that, yeah, some. Oh, huge harder. chop to that chest. Harder, Carlo harder, Weiss. harder. Again. Oh, and another oh, no. one. You hear that thud. Harder, harder. Please, harder. Oh, ask and you shall receive, Max. Weak, weak, weak. Do it again. Oh, listen to the people for once, Fighter Cat. Well, he was listening, and now he's gotten reversed. He might have listened a little too long. Carlo Weiss with the reversal right into her front face lock. Chop him again, Cat. Chop him again. He needs to learn. He needs like to Kat's learn. Cat's trying to get that rope break. Oh, he's got the wrist. Shoot. Reverse. Back elbow ducked. Another leap through. Drop down. What's coming next? Leapfrog. Fighter Cat. Oh, right to the ribs. Carlo Weiss had it scouted. Carlo only climbing to the bottom rope. A move relegated for wusses, as far as I'm concerned. Fighter and an idiot up. move by turning his back, giving Fighter Cat the advantage. Oh, and Carlo holds on. Carlo's looking real strong in this match. He's looking super strong. It looked like he might have gotten the eye of Fighter Cat there. Oh! oh! Harder, 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 harder! Oh, and a huge arm drag. Oh, Fighter Cat, he's hitting just about as hard as I've ever seen him hit. Ooh, Looks like up. he was oh going for God. the Cat Splash. Reversal by Carlo Weiss. What's Cat got here? Something fancy? Cat fancy? Ah! Code Breaker Reversal! I think Carlo's making a mistake here. He needs to recover and get a pin right now. I don't think Fighter Cat knows where he is. See, it's hard to move in all that leather. You really have to, to calculate every single body movement. You don't want to tear any of that expensive leather that he's wearing. So that's a little drawback, but he does look kind of cool, right? Does look like a rock star. That cover was the cover of a rock star. I don't but know. But not effective. What kind of band is Carlo playing? He, he doesn't look like any rock star I've ever seen. What, what, what's he play? I think he plays bluegrass. Bluegrass? Kentucky bluegrass? Like dang a lang a lang a lang bluegrass, dang a lang a lang bluegrass. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. Okay. Well, then there's a nice knee to the gut. Of course. Speaking of bluegrass. <laughs> oh, and another chop. Harder. 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 That's a big knee. Shoulders. Shoulders to the gut. Carlo, he's got the advantage. He doesn't look like he's giving it a huge spear in the ribs. Jeez, that almost looked more painful for Carlo. It looked like he cranked his neck back. That's how hard he hit Cat right there. Uh, we cover there and Cat able to get out. Yeah, hit, hips down, Carlo. I don't know why I'm giving him advice. Well, hips down when you pin. Well, you know what he doesn't need advice on. He sees where Cat's hurt. He's hurting the ribs. The cone breaker, the big spear, and now he's got that vice-like grip with those big, huge arms of Carlo Vice wrapped around him. And you know his his grip is so great because when he plays the guitar, he's always fingering. The, the amount of fingering Carlo does really has got his grip strength up. Oh, nice uh, reverse enziguri there by Fighter Cat. Looked like he got him right in the left arm. Might not have gotten him, but he wanted him again to the ribs. Carlo Weiss has had an answer for everything Fighter Cat has been giving him. This could be it right here. Is his fly down? No, his fly's up. I don't know why I'm looking at his crotch. It's, it's, it's Carlo Weiss. He's, ir he's irresistible. You know? He is irresistible. You are the tweener. You are gender fluid. I don't even know what that really means. I'm something, brother. You are, baby. I am something. All right, well, let's see what Carlo has to put, put Fighter Cat away. Oh, big jaw jack. Carlo, he's wobbly. A good shot to the chin like that can knock a man out. And here he comes, another shot to the face with a boot. Carlo, again, Fighter Cat reverses. Carlo just taking punishment to the face. Nothing new for Carlo, obviously. Oh, the huge, huge kick and a drop kick. Fighter Cat building the momentum. He could be going for it. He could be going for the Cat Splash. What's he got? Ooh. Hold on. Fighter Cat with the comeback. It's over. No. Could not.
not holding down Carla Vice powers out. Well, now Cat's got to capitalize, maybe comb those sideburns a little bit, regroup, and just think, hmm, what's it going to take to take down Carlo Vice, the man who's not so nice? You know what? He's rocked Carlo a couple times in the chin. Could be setting him up for the eat-defeat finish that Fighter Cat loves to employ. He's also got to watch out and make sure Carlo doesn't try and spit in his mouth. Carlo fight out of this one. Oh, ducks the Inziguri. Oh, huge kick! Right to the shoulder, cracking those delts. Oh my god! Going for the. No! A whole slow of reversals! Oh, and Carlo Vice again to the ribs! And both men are down! Car Carlo, make the cover! Is Carlo okay? He just took a lot of punishment. I don't think he physically can. I think he used every last ounce of strength to hit that move. I, I said it before, it's all that leather. You can't make a sudden move in that leather. You don't want to stretch it out. Oh my gosh. Cat punched him in the back of the head. Right hand, not everything on it. Looks like both guys' energy levels are low. We're in the 12th round right now of this slugfest. Chop him, chop him again. Oh, the huge! That was a good one. Oh, and then pump right to the temple. Chop him! Oh, Carlo Vice boot to the face! Come on, Cat, chop him! Went for another one, move! Oh, but Carlo too quick. Went for the famous reversal! Oh, code breaker! This is it right here! Oh, and only a two count. Carlo kicked out. It's like I'm watching WrestleMania 9. These guys are going all out tonight. You can see Fighter Cat taking such a bad beating, his underwear is coming out of his tights. Well, you know what? Sometimes you get deep into a fight, wardrobe malfunctions, and oh, Carlo Vice Oof. with a leverage maneuver. Fighter Cat hanging on, not going all the way out to the concrete floor. There are no pads out here. Oh no! No code red from the outside! It's over! No! Carlo Vice! Where is he getting this from, Max? I don't know. I, I said it before, he does a lot of fingering. He has a lot of finger strength. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's all the fingering Carlo does that's helping him persevere in this match. Fighter Cat, he might have just hit his best shot there. He might be thinking, I don't got anything else. At, at some point, these, this is a, a battle of, of atrophy. One of these guys has to take it home soon. Battle of atrophy, battle of attrition, one of those. Oh, oh. That's what I meant. Carlo looking to give Fighter Cat some atrophy, but no. Oh no, Steve! Turn around! He didn't see that? Steve Demang protected himself like he should. He's not a wrestler, he's a referee. And now Carlo going for his big finish. Oh! Jeez! Carlo, jeez! I think we could call that death metal, and it is over. Hey, Carlo always says, Carlo Vice is not so nice, but you hear the reaction from the people. Nothing. Nothing. They hate him. They hate Carlo Vice. They don't even want to boo. You know what? I don't think Carlo cares. He tells them to cheer him, but I don't think he cares. He's a rock star. Okay, so Carlo Vice did just win. So it's looking like he's getting some momentum. It's looking like he, he could maybe be our second ever champion. Oh, oh, don't even think about that. No, no, no. We don't, we don't think about that. That's not good. That's not something that gets views. Here we need views. Carlo Vice... He ain't, he ain't getting no views, but he did get a win. I'll give him that little just one quick clap. I'll give him that. But now we move past that. Now we roll on to tonight's main event of Cap TV with Francis Kip Stevens taking on Mike Anthony. Now we talked about our last Creative Pro show, Creative Pro Perfection. But at that show, we saw a different, a little bit of a different side of Kip. And like you see little sparks of it throughout this up and coming main event. You see little inklings of it and things that I don't understand. So I need to, along with all of you at home, we need to go back and watch this. And we need to see like what's going on with Kip. And we're gonna we're gonna see it like now. So just
guy's a real weirdo, Max. He's not crazy. It says it right on his shirt. Hailing from straight out of Compton, weighing in an IQ of 160, Francis Kipling Stevens! There's crowd favorite Kip Stevens right out of Compton. He was there during the riots. It's okay. Hey, it's the tweeter Max Caster and Kevin Tibbs here on commentary. And oh my gosh. Look Mike at Mike An Anthony. He, you know what? He's been trying to get into the head of Francis Kip Stevens. And I don't know what's in the head of Kip Stevens, but can you get in there? I mean, I, I'll tell you what's in his head. It's a lot of brains. And I've personally spilled his brain matter across his head. But, but will those big brains stop him? from being played these soci psychopathic games. I don't even know what I'm saying. But this guy has got me shook and off my game. Yeah. Pun intended. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, and he's going right for the goggles. That's a good move, Mike. Good move. Two, three. Come on, be great. We're gonna get that. Good job, Mike. Oh, and he's going for him. What's he doing? Oh, he's kiss kissing. Did he just kiss him? He's biting him. What? Oh, jeez. I guess we know how to get it to Kip. Oh, Jesus, look at him. I don't even know what to think of this Mike Anthony. Did he kiss him or bite him? I it was hard to see from our angle, but you know what? Whatever he did, it worked. He's in his head. Good job, Mike. It looks like it's working. Big knee, big punch, and another one right in the dome. I'll tell you what, Mike's been training really hard to get in the ring here at Creative Pro, and he's doing a good job so far. And he's taking it to Kip Stevens here. I thought the veteran would have... Oh, and there we go with a big lefty clothesline. Oh. oh, put your hands up, Mike. Put your hands up. Oh, he's destroying Mike's face right now. Mike is crazy. I don't... It looks like the mind games are backfiring at the moment because Kip is really taking it to him. Oh, and a Lutez press and just banging the head off the ground. Wow, straight out of Divas. Oh, and Kip giving him a little bit of his own medicine. Wow. This is a new Francis Kip Stevens. You want to play games? You want to play games? Oh, Mike going for a cheap shot there, trying to put Kip into the bucket. Huge drop kick. You see the spit fly from his face? I saw it. Oh, Kip. Oh, huge knee to the back of the head. Watch Here he comes. Cross body. Oh. Kip Stevens, this is it! No, two! See, what the referee needs to do here is get those suspenders off of Kip. Those things are dangerous. Whipping around, it can hit Mike in the eyeball. In the eyeball, Kevin! Uh, and you know what? Kip's eyes are actually protected from the suspenders with his goggles. It, it's an oh, unfair Kip's advantage. Oh. Socks Mike right in the face. Oh! oh. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Oh, and then into the post. That was cool. Good job, Mike. Good have, use of the ring there. It might have taken him a little bit longer than he anticipated, but he was able to get in the head of Kip and get him down with the post. And now he's going to work him around out there, fist to the face. Mike really taking it to Kip on the outside of the ring. You know, when Mike says on his shirt there, he's not crazy, I actually think he might be a little crazy. I, I'm starting to think. Look at this. Oh. Well, I, I think he's trying to convince himself that he's not crazy and convince other people, but I think we all know this dude is out of his mind. So is that knee right to Kip's face. Mike Anthony might be making a mistake here. He needs to get back in the ring and win by count out. No, you know what? He's just crazy enough to ignore the count out. He wants to beat the hell out of Kip. And I don't blame him. Kip's easy to beat up. You know, we both been in there with Kip Stevens, and he is one tough nerd as he shows there, kicking out at two. And Mike Anthony, give him a big boot to the back. Jeez, Mike. Mike's really going at him. Kip, I don't think Kip expected himself to be in this position. First off, Starting the match. Ooh, another huge knee. It looks like his most effective weapon so far has been these ruthless knees. Oh, and a huge eternal lariat. One, two, and no. Oh. 
Kip started off the match being a victim of mind games, and now he's being uh, victimized by Mike's violence here in the yeah. ring. A sliding clothesline, a great combo. And look at this, a deep chin lock with the extra torque. Notice where his legs are pointed off to the side. That means the pressure is coming straight up on Kip's chin, stretching out his neck. We call that traction when you're getting adjusted at the chiropractor, but not good now when Mike is squeezing your head. Right not back good. down. Not good and back down after more vicious knees and again getting that torque. And the other thing with the legs over there, it's one less thing for Francis Kip Stevens to grab onto to try to get a reversal. But it looks like Kip is up and he's in a huge suplex. This could be the break Kip needed. Mike up quick from that suplex though. I don't know how much damage it really did. Oh, maybe not enough. Mike moves, huge elbow. Oh, huge lariat! What's next? Muda elbow, this could be it! One! Ooh, at the last second! Shut up! You are crazy! No, no, no. Mike Anthony making a big mistake. He's letting the crowd get to him. They're telling him he's crazy. His parents told him he was crazy, but he told me all he wanted was a Pepsi. <laughs> a Pepsi? All right, uh, okay. Oh, not this time, Mike. Oh, sweet. Kip, my goodness. Listen to it. Kip Stevens just lighten up Mike Anthony. He's had enough of this. Here we go, can he hit it this time? He can, huge forearm! Kip is not done yet! Irish whip, another big forearm, right in the chin. Could third time be the charm? Oh, big spear! Oh, the bulldog, it's over! Anthony again with the kick out. I gotta say, Max Castor, I'm impressed with Mike Anthony tonight. Mike is having a mind-blowing showing right now. I'm loving Mike. I'm loving Kip's intensity. Mike's brought out a different side of Kip. And you can even say Kip's brought out a different side of Mike. I've never seen Mike go this hard, this fast. Kip up to the top. Going for that Meteora, maybe. Oh! Back break through the shirt? Ripcord clothesline! Rainmaker! Oh, Kip Stevens with another big kick out! Well, oh, come on, Mike. You gotta capitalize here. This is what we trained for. But again, Mike Anthony might be making a mistake. He thought he had him there. And now he's looking out to the crowd instead of that Kip. No, never take your eyes off your opponent. We all know that rule. But it's easy to make that mistake. Maybe Kip, oh no, Kip, you know, he gave Kip enough time to gather himself and get to the ropes. Kip will not, uh-oh. Oh, oh no, the light's right on top of his head! Oh, my. He might not be crazy, but he might be paralyzed! Oh, knee! Mind blown. I gotta say, Kip Stevens might have picked up the victory, but Mike Anthony won me over tonight. Oh, Kip, oh and Kip, Kip is not done! What a, what a spoil sport. Okay, so we're coming to the end of this week's episode of Cap TV. What a solid main event. What a matchup. A good, good, great match. Mike Anthony was looking good. You know, he says he's not crazy. I don't know. He's a little, little crazy. But also in that match, you know, Kip was a little crazy. Like that was, then that was a Kip that we, that the fans wanted, that we liked. That was a Kip that, you know, when I was out at times, he would host Cap TV. But after perfection, after he decided, oh, he's just gonna turn on his long time tag partner. Ah, Kip, what are you doing here? We're doing Cap TV and you're here now. I was actually just talking about you. Do you want, you, you know, know what, you know what, just, yeah.
keep talking. Just pretend I'm not here. I, I will. I will. Keep talking. I'm cat TV. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, we just talked. We just saw the main event, some crazy stuff. And now, in the main event, we had Kip, and Kip is here with us. And out of perfection, Kip, you know what? I want to talk to, I want to, talk to the Creative Pro fans. I want to talk to the Jack back. But, uh, Kip, I got to ask you. We're all wondering. Why, why would you turn on lo your long-time temper? Why would you turn on CBS? Who does that? Oh! 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 No, stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> it looks like we got a new host for today. Give me the rundown. Hold on, give me the rundown. Let's see what we gotta do. You know what? I ain't saying any of this. In fact, we're running the show early today. Personally, this was my favorite episode of Cap TV, but I want everyone to know things are about to get more interesting around here. <laughs>